morning everyone welcome back to another vlog i've had a crazy last few days um yesterday i just needed like a mental health day it was my dad's birthday so i was a little emotional um so i took the day like off i vlogged a little bit but i just basically started my horseback riding lessons so that's something that i just recently started I'm trying to find hobbies guys because I don't really have much besides my channel. It was so much fun but going forward they're not allowed to have like video clips there so I can't vlog the experience which is such a shame because it's a beautiful ranch. I did get a few clips which was fine but I can't like vlog my training if that makes sense. So it's really cool though. I'm having so much fun already. And then um, I cleaned my house. Like my house is an actual disaster. I always tell people you can tell my state of mind based on my apartment and my apartment was like probably the worst it's ever been since I've gotten here I just like wasn't doing anything so I cleaned that up it immediately made me feel better what else did I do I sat in the sun a little bit like just had myself a mental health day I took a run when you run when you're stressed like you can just keep going like it's like the best way to run before I couldn't ever run couldn't ever run because mentally I just didn't have much on my mind and now I have so much on my mind I'm like I run and I just think and I think and I think and then I get home and I'm like exhausted and I can't think anymore and I just don't feel that stressed anymore it's a great benefit you know like you can work out you can get your stress off your mind it's just a good combo anyway it is now February 18th it's Friday happy Friday I have no plans tonight right now I'm down to have a chill night because I had a kind of crazy night last night so that's it <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Apartment is clean. I do have something kind of exciting. Um, my prints came in for my bedroom. So you guys know I did my gallery wall here, but I got the wrong size prints for the bottom pieces. Hopefully they're the right size this time. So I think these are the right size. Yeah, we got this lady. This is my favorite one. And then we got the black and white. That looks so much better. <laughs> Everyone thought that the other pieces, when they were like the small ones in here, they were like, oh, I thought that was part of the art. Like it's abstract. I'm like, no. All right, so I'm going through my comments and a lot of you guys are talking about how cool Mike, my friend Mike's um, ceiling is. He has like that TikTok infamous cloud ceiling. And I talked to him a little bit about possibly doing it in my guest bedroom. I feel like that'd be a fun video. Shall we do it? Like, I wonder how intense it actually is. He said that there's a lot of adhesive or like it it's like a lot he was like i wouldn't ever do it again like it's not worth it but i feel like we have time guys <laughs> i have time let's see diy tiktok cloud ceiling i feel like it'd be really cool i mean it's really cool in person it's really oh my cool. god Chris carlton do you want to know how to take your game room size bedroom from this to this <laughs> I told him I wanted him to do it. He's like, yeah, enough happening. I don't know, but I want to do it. I'll do it in the guest space. Like, look, imagine the vibes, which we already have vibes technically. This whole guest space is just going to be a situation. So we have the skylight. We have this crazy thing. My friend Chase got me that light. He doesn't like it that much, but I think it's kind of cool. And then I have these lights, like that. The black wall, the skylight. Well, this one's the galaxy light, technically. And then when you turn off, and then imagine like, <gasps> imagine the cloud, like the TikTok cloud, and then the galaxy light on top of the cloud with this vibe and the black wall. I think I'm gonna do it. When Renee has an idea, she does it. I just don't know exactly how. I mean, I can figure it out. Maybe I'll get my bro. You know what? We're gonna do it with my brother. That's what it's gonna be. Cause I haven't seen him in a minute and you guys like him. He hasn't been in the vlog for a minute, but we're gonna do it. Mark my word. Watch the next video be like, putting up the TikTok viral cloud in my guest face. I promise you guys, it's probably gonna happen. <laughs> I'm 
crazy got some new clothes um, from Aritzia uh, this is free people and then a little bit of Princess Polly stuff I think like three things I'm gonna do a quick little try on haul so I will leave all of this link down below this is the first piece and I'm seriously obsessed I don't know if you can tell on camera but there's like this lace detailing it's a beautiful beautiful top and it's super comfortable um, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one. I think this one looks really, really good. By the way, these are from Aritzia as well. So I'll pop these down below too. These are so comfortable. I wear them all the time. So I've actually heard so much about these leggings. They're like the version of the Align pants from Lululemon. These are called TNA Butter. Dare I say a little bit more comfortable than the Align leggings. They feel like you're wearing nothing. Um, yeah, these are so nice. These are gonna be perfect for just lounging and yoga. Um, but I got them in this like lilac kind of like purple tone. It looks white on camera, but it's a like purplish tone. This is the most random shot, <laughs> but I put my camera down and this is actually reflecting from my cable box. That was just a really cool shot. I'm definitely leaving that in there. <laughs> All right, so I also got them in this like greenish color. These are seriously, so freaking comfortable like beyond oh my god i'm obsessed all right here's the next piece so i'm actually really liking this top it's actually a bodysuit but i feel like i need a size smaller because my boobs aren't fitting in here story of my life um so it's a little loose at the top it's like perfect though on the waistline i think i'm gonna get this in a different size um and then these are just levi's they're like these just white levi's they are really nice they make your butt look really good they're very comfortable it's like one of those materials that you can just like scrunch up in your hand which is like key for me if i'm wearing any type of jeans like they have to be comfortable um but they're also not super cheeky which i like i actually really like these a lot just the top i either need a boob job or i need to get a different size I'm definitely gonna get a different size <laughs> here's some more shorts these ones are really comfortable um again not too cheeky but they're a little bit more cheeky than the other one um and then this bodysuit is probably the most comfortable bodysuit i've ever worn in my life it looks like one of those ones that just like blend into your skin and there's like this sports bra that you can't even tell is underneath so it keeps your boobs nice in place and it's really comfortable it has like that open scoop back too which is pretty nice definitely gonna be getting a lot of use out of this one okay so i got another pair of jeans probably not the best idea going into spring in florida but i do horseback ride i just needed some new like just solid jeans this is actually just a sports bra um for just lounging around the house and then i also got this top that's also super comfortable if you can't tell i'm going for like that ballet style material that kind of just like seeps into your skin i love that material because it looks really sleek and very flattering but it's also extremely comfortable um i would definitely wear these with like higher waisted pants or maybe even like a skirt or something but i think it's really cute i love this color it makes my eyes pop so yeah but it's so comfortable it feels like like ballet stuff like it's just very fluid with your body which i love just there's a word like seeps into your skin it like blends into your skin it's like tight form-fitted but stretchy material so here's another style that's extremely similar but we're on to princess polly now i don't know if you could tell but it kind of like wraps around like it looks like a scarf wrapped around me again the kind of like ballet style look but it looks really comfortable it fits really well i just needed some more like everyday use but um stylish but like comfortable 
That's like the word. We're going to take a shot every time Renee says comfortable in this video. Pull one back. This is a, another bodysuit. This makes you look really slim because these lines here go like they like cinch in here so it makes you like look like you have some curves but again just basic top it's very simple and then last but not least is this bodysuit you guys literally every single thing that i've gotten in this um haul is so comfortable that's the goal and i did it it had to be comfortable yet still cute this is so cute i love it but i wish i could like show you guys what it feels like it has like this little tie here can you even tell i don't think you can tell but it like has a knot here like there you go <laughs> um but yeah that's the clothing haul i will pop them all down below i think i'm gonna go ahead to the pool and go sit out in the sun because it is such a beautiful day outside it's a sunday i just kind of want to like relax i'm in the mood to like be chill i have been in a weird funky mood kind of just like annoyed at everything like everything's annoying me and i just need a day to like chill you know like get rid of all the responsibilities i have chase coming on wednesday i'm gonna go we're going to denver like i'm going to denver this weekend which i'm so excited about i've never been to colorado it's like on my bucket list and i'm so excited to be going with chase so that's something to look forward to i think it's just like right now i feel a little bit stressed because again nothing's going on when there's nothing going on in my life i get a little in here but it's okay we have stuff coming up and i'm very excited so cheers to just taking it slow today and like not feeling guilty for being slow and not doing anything i usually don't have days like that and i need to learn to like enjoy them all right guys had myself a little day already i went to the pool i sat out in the sun i started a new book which okay i finished um the john green book i wasn't a huge fan it was kind of boring it was like interesting at first he basically create like makes these essays or creates these like two to three page essays about some random topic like let's say an espresso machine but then he somehow makes it into like these life kind of lessons and moments and it was like like i said it was interesting at first but it was just so long and very it was like just literally a collection of essays about random stuff so it was a little boring but he meant well and i feel like if you're into that kind of stuff you would like it but i rated it like a two i feel bad but y'all know i'm very honest on my goodreads i'm not going to sit there and recommend a book if it's not good so i'm very picky so that was like not my favorite but i picked up the book thief this um afternoon where did i put it this one um i only read a little bit at the pool but that's where i read by the way like that like if you bring a book to like the pool or the beach or something you can blow through it i'm also gonna be on a plane soon so i'm gonna be like reading a lot i'm a little behind. i've only read two books this year guys like who is she i've just heard so much about this book i think it's like a book that people read before they die or you have to read before you die um and i know a lot of people read it in school which is kind of concerning to me because those are typically a little bit more boring but so far it's pretty good like it's not i can't really judge it right now but let me know if you guys have read it down below i'll keep you guys posted on goodreads per use but yeah i'm just kind of like chilling i edited it a little bit i cleaned a little bit and i want to try something and i know that i don't plan on living here for too long but i know you guys probably think i'm crazy but do you guys remember my old apartment in florida i did a lot of like renter friendly like improvements on the place i did like a backsplash and this is all like for a place that i would leased so i didn't like actually put them in a backsplash they're just like tips and tricks for renter friendly apartment stuff so i'll link that video somewhere on the screen the one thing i didn't do in that apartment was the marble because i liked like the marble didn't make me upset this marble and this apartment makes me so upset first of all it's a little bit outdated but i just for me it was location after living in new york and finding the dream apartment in the worst location and i was so unhappy so there were other like more modern apartments but the lifestyle over there to me was just very much party central and i wanted something a little bit more quiet and quaint the location for this apartment is so much better than the other ones in my personal experience because i have access to like downtown but i'm also kind of like away so it's like a walkable apartment but still more suburban and quiet that's what i like about it anyway what was i saying oh yeah the two things i don't like too much about it is that there is the most ugly marble ever and it has like this weird thing where like if you get if it gets wet it'll like stain but then it dries out it's just like really ugly it's so ugly and i think they use this one because it you can't tell that it's dirty which makes me even more upset because i'm a clean freak sometimes i can see like food on there and it's like you just can't tell from the blind eye and i can't take pictures because i like like a clean like 
it's a horrible marble and it's all over my freaking apartment it's in the kitchen it's in the bathrooms it's in my freaking shower it's just awful so my friends they had rented like a really really old apartment and they did this thing it's like um, a counter sticker so i found this and it's white um, I just got a small roll because I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know if I'm going to have the patience to do this. Is it worth it? I don't freaking know. I just thought it would be a fun little project to try. Um, I'll link it down below if it works. Um, but it's from Amazon and I think I just have to have patience. So I'm going to jam out to my music, figure out if this is going to look okay. It's like water resistant and all that stuff. So I think it should be fine. And if it does work, I want to put the white on this side of the kitchen, like here, and then maybe get like a different, like darker kind of marble look for the island. We're gonna try it. Wish me luck. Okay, um, so here's the difference of what it would look like. I feel like it looks good from afar. The only thing is that you can see the line, you know? Um, so I don't know if I should do it like long ways, but still if it was long, like it, the roll would come to here. So I'd still have like a line. And then going forward, how would I do like the whole thing? And there would just be like lines. Is it worth it? I don't know. Um, I don't know, because that just looks really bad, this, this line. But from afar, it looks better. And then for like content creating, like let's say I took a picture of my cup here. Like I just hate this look, whereas I could use this, but I'd have to find one without the line, you know? Oh, jeez. Help me. Help me, people. How do I get rid of this line? I guess I just could have like done it right on the cusp. Like, can I actually cut this piece off? Let's try that. Okay. Yeah, no. Nope. I don't know. Help a sister out. We shall see. I don't think I'm gonna do it. It's just like, it looks too cheap. But it looks nice from afar. Unless you guys can tell me an option of like how to do this better. I don't think I will, which is a shame, but whatever. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I'm going to go ahead and end it and enjoy my Sunday, finish up this vlog editing, and then I'm going to film more tomorrow. I'm in a filming mood, so excitement. I still got my rose. Love it. All right. Thanks for watching.